Welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob to the Square for DS. I wish we were going to the Fry Cook games right now, but we're going to be doing other Fry Cook related things. At least supposedly. Oh wait, are we actually? Jeez! Awesome! Although considering how last time we went to the talent show at the Krusty Krab, the level actually ended up being nothing to do with the Krusty Krab. I'm not sure I should get my hopes up. I'm happy with this departure. Yeah, and now we're signing dollars. It feels great. Why? Dunno. I guess we might find out. Maybe. What does this have to do with anything? Like, hey, remember that time we were in the, <laughs> you were in the Fry Cook games? Yeah? Okay, cool. Now here's a scene of you somewhere else entirely. Go away. Stop being the devil's difficult enemy in this game. At least the sun looks kind of, well not the sun exactly, but at least the sun looks kind of. What's this? It's, why is the gum orange? And there's some sheer drops. You don't see that in grassy things too often. Go away. Where did you come from? I did not approve of this. Stop that. No. Not allowed. So you notice I'm having more trouble with the normal enemy than I am with the big thing. Okay. Anyways. Go. Okay. Still awkward doing that. I don't really have a good configuration for that. Figured out. Hello. Didn't expect that. Physics. Very unexpected physics. Why is this here? Yeah, but I don't think it's good that I'm given more trouble by the big challenging enemy. I no, other way around. That it's if I could do that to the giant, supposedly powerful looking threatening enemy. Whereas I consistently get hit by the most basic enemy. So is this gonna be like one of those walls they can climb on in like Super Mario World or something? Can I punch Koopas from other side? Well, I don't understand what letter Koopa be. Oh, I can. I'm apparently moving on a grid or something, which is kind of weird. Apparently the equivalent would be these copper fish things that don't really seem to have any well, precedent for existing in SpongeBob games. I got you now! Surprise! Aha! Except you don't get hurt anyways because the moment you start, if you start, if it starts this attack animation while I'm attacking it, then it blocks my attack. If I start attacking it after its attack animation has started, then it's just intangible entirely. Which is not a good policy, I don't feel like. I feel like this is probably the non optional route that I'm taking right now, maybe? See what that trampoline brings us to. Up we go. Get the happiness. That's an interesting grass formation <laughs> right behind us there. I really have no, much, no idea which way we're supposed to be going right now, actually. Oh, that's an even more interesting grass formation. Look at that. Is it going to be those basic robots that I find really annoying? Nope. I feel like this game's going to get easier as time goes on for me because we're going to keep finding the big enemies instead of the small ones. And because I have an easier time with the big enemies, because I can just stunlock them. The game's going to get easier. Just with it. Oh. The devs wanting it to get harder. But we're still going to run to these guys right now and then, I guess. Come on. It's like they know these guys are harder because they actually throw them at you later instead of earlier. That's their idea of ramping up the challenge. Which way is the required way? I'm really not sure. I didn't realize I was in the air while I was attacking just then. Stop! Get out of the air, SpongeBob! There we go. Go away. Just, I, f I now feel like I am on the proper route through the level, so I'll go back the other way. 
What did I do with you, man? I, I do get the idea of exploring all that, but I do sometimes feel like it would be nice if levels actually, in some capacity, marked which path was actually the required route to get through the level. And which one was just for extra stuff, like, uh, collectibles and whatnot. There you go. I don't know, this one take here, but sure. So that you won't have to do what I do, where you go down one, thinking, okay, I want to get everything in the game, but I don't know if this is the correct, I don't know if this is the full route. I don't know if this is the route to the end of the level or not, or if it's a, an extra branch. And you keep on going through it, and you think, okay, no, I think this is the main branch. And then you go back the other way, but that one also keeps going on for a long time, so you go back the other way again. And you're uncertain. Yeah, am I going to drain this at some point or something? Like, some drop doesn't go under the goo, that's just not a thing for him. This is being well-established, Cannon. I know a Spongebob game would never defy Spongebob Cannon. Yep, just turn off the waterfall, that's how that works. Good job. Ruining oh, the entire ecosystem. Hooray for you, SpongeBob. Hello. So is there a reason to be down here? Well, I guess to get over here. But I could already get over here. What was the reason for that? I'm actually not sure. So I'm, this is implying I can do something up here, as I can. Here we go. Awesome. So that's a few of those done, but... I'm just not quite sure what the point of this was. Like, what was the point of lowering this? Nope. Ah, come on! Here we go. Nothing to be seen down here. Nice animation, SpongeBob. Because can't I? Maybe there's an invisible wall here that's even building this, but there shouldn't be one. Can I not just jump down from here? Why can't I? Game? <laughs> Why can't I just jump down to the platform below? Why is that? You don't. There's nothing to justify this. Why is there an invisible wall there of all places? So I have to jump across like that. Why though? They're right there next to each other. Oh man, I didn't actually gain health when I picked up that underwear. Oh come on. I made that underwear earlier as the water is soaked Bob. I didn't actually. It did not actually refill my health. I was wondering if it was. I wasn't quite sure about it. Oh, hey, I let you pick it up. Although I can pick things up on phone health, too. I was thinking, hey, let me pick it up. I probably. They probably refilled my health. The game probably actually thinks of that sort of thing, right? The developers won't just pass that up. Be negligent like that. Put too much faith in it, though. Buffness is next to. Manor Julius or something like that. Good job, SpongeBob. See how long that lasts you. I do like how you get a moment of invincibility when you turn Bob. Make sure you don't lose it instantaneously. I don't appreciate you being here. I'll just refuse to acknowledge your existence. Why is this such a thin platform here? Okay, go away. Dude! What's the point of being buffed if you still take forever to kill everything? Also, did I manage to knock into a laser and destroy the laser or something? Okay, so I have a choice as to... 
What are you doing here? Why is there just money here? What's the deal here? I don't think I get this. Why is there money here? I can't interact with it at all. Just grabs, go, go with the money. Throw away. Okay. There's just randomly sacks of cash blocking in my bag. Okay, so we have... Okay, so it looks like what we had to do was use the springs to go between these different areas and start to order. Go. Now it's up there. Problem being that now I have to dodge and stuff. Although if I get hit while I'm in full of water, I won't lose my buff, so it's not too bad. I've been wondering. If I pick up since since those water drops risk my health, if I pick up underwear while I'm Short on water? Does that free point water? Nope, it does absolutely nothing. Awesome. Uh, I don't think it's where I want to go through right now. Okay, so. No! No! Why do you respawn? Oh, game. And these things are really consistent about running up here. I'm just like, sure, do that. Anyways, it's not totally clear to me where I'm supposed to use that water just yet. Oh, okay. Now I figured the way that was ordered that, or the way that I was structured, that I would actually have to go to a later part and then come back to an earlier part, not vice versa, but whatever. Still don't know why you exist. Oh, sure. So fall down or anything. This is kind of a pretty looking place, though, being in a cave like this with all the water that's mysteriously flowing from nowhere. This is, this is contained water. There, there's no... There's nowhere for that water to be coming from. I don't know why, why there's a current, but... Uh, okay. Puff. The puff has puff. But that actually doesn't tell me how to progress further than the level. Well, I need you to progress further than the levels to grab this. Oh, so Mr. Cra oh, that's what! Okay, Mr. Krabs is actually a playable character now. No. I'll take it. That's something new. Interesting, you just scribble. Strangely enough, I'm actually uh, capable of doing that. Usually, like, usually when DS games tell you to scribble, I try to do it on emulator, it just does not work because I can't scribble completely up. With uh, my mouse. With just my finger. Yeah, it's weird. The giant enemies have so little. They can get stunlocked because they have fewer invincibility frames than small eyes. It's so weird. Anyways. I think we're about out of time, so I suppose I'll see you guys next time. This episode of Place when we go up through the square. Where we apparently partake in the Fry Cook games, I guess. We'll see about that. We're in Jellyfish Fields, for some reason. Bye, guys.